Hello, Brenton with All Out Octane here, and in this video, I'm going to open up some of the brand new Hot Wheels 2022 Cube Case cars that I was able to find on the pegs. I was able to find these on vacation at a Target on Long Island. I, actually, it's kind of a vacation, kind of a work trip. So I am stoked. I could not believe that I was able to find all of these cars, just about all of the good ones from the cube case. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I put up a reel showing that I found all of these cars right off the pegs. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead over there, follow me, and you'll see my content normally before I post it on YouTube because I try to get those out ahead of time and then I do the unboxings here on YouTube. So let's get moving because we have a lot of cars to get through. This is Cruisin' Bruiser and this is another recolor we've seen this a number of times but i just find this casting iconic it's such a cool wagon i love demolition derbies and what better way to i guess scratch that itch than to buy a die cast that does it next up we have the 40 pickup this reminds me greatly of the pizza livery 40 pickup from goodness gracious years ago I really wish this casting would get bigger back tires. That is kind of my only down, like downside to this casting, my only critique, larger back tires. Otherwise, this thing is spectacular. Next up, we have the 2006 for, uh, Pontiac GTO. We've seen this already this year in red, almost a simultaneous, or I'm sorry, almost a back-to-back -back recolor. We've seen it in red, and then a few cases later, we see it in black or at least that's the way it seems to be. Good tampo work on this thing. This one has large back tires because this one is drag style, although I wish they would put it stock, street style rather than that. Next up, we've got a two, or a Dodge Viper. This one doesn't have the gear. I set up a little different than what I'm used to. I'm Like I said, I'm traveling, so I'm trying to get these videos done on the road. So I'm having to bounce back and forth between the camera and the package. So if I'm saying things that don't quite make sense, I'm trying to read through the camera and then look up and realize that I'm not uh, reading the right thing. If you hear that horn, that is because I'm near a dock. There we go, we got a Dodge Challenger drift car with the 426 Mopar on it. This thing is amazing especially now that it's in red. We've seen it in white before. It's got the Elephant logo on it, Mopar. Great tampo work. This thing is amazing. 426 Mopar crate engine. We've got a Ford Gran Torino Sport in orange. I have a soft spot for this casting. It's, it's just really cool. And that teal blue one that they made or a light baby blue kind of one that they made a number of years ago. Yeah, that, that casting's awesome. Now we've got it in orange. I actually think this one's the best one yet, in my opinion. Great kind of chrome interior. Kind of fits the uh, white stripe. Obviously, they didn't want to put white because it matches the grill, because you need to have a chrome grill, but white interior would have been amazing. If I, were, if I would do a custom, I would put white interior on in that thing. Next up, we've got the 65 Mustang 2 Plus 2 Fastback. I've seen this already this year as well. I forget, uh, blue? No, green green. Now we've got it in this maroon color. Good stuff. Kind of basic, but at the same time, simple is good. I like it. We've got a 2000, I would guess this would be like a 2022, 20 something Ford Shelby GT 350R in blue. I feel like they just kind of keep redoing this casting. So I, believe, I feel like we've had it in blue before. This one has a little bit different, maybe tail work. This is definitely the newer Mustang for sure. Yeah, that thing is awesome. So glad to add this to the collection. We've got a Batmobile. I really like the olive drab green on this thing. That's basically why I picked it up. My friend Josh, if you're watching, one is coming to you. Um, we've got big back tires on this thing. It is a really cool casting. I like it. Very Lamborghini-esque with the rear engine. Very muscle car-esque. Yeah, this thing's cool. Speaking of Lamborghinis, let's move to the Mira. We've got the 71 Lamborghini Mira SV in blue. We've seen this in orange, now we've got it in blue. 
Matchbox has done this very similar color, except they put a gold base. Hot Wheels, I think, did a little bit better putting the silver gray plastic or gray plastic. Large back tires on this thing. What does it say? P400V? Yes, SV. I had to look through the camera on that one. Again, sorry guys, I, it's a different setup than what I'm used to. So, great temple work. Yeah, this is an amazing casting. I'm definitely gonna be taking that home and putting it on my desk. New casting, the Honda Super Cub. And I think we've already seen it in one color. I now forget, I'm blanking on the color we've seen it, but we've got it in red with like uh, white or cream. It's more of a cream. Cute little casting. Very bicycle-esque. Nice to add that to the collection. A recolor of the Audi Quad Sport Cracho 84. We've seen it in yellow and white. Now we've got it in blue. Fantastic stuff. Again, great tampa work. And have you seen Ken Block's daughter redo her Audi? That thing is really cool. If you haven't watched that, that is a great video to, series to watch. 74 Escort RS 1600 in blue. Fun checkered tampo work on top, very British-esque, which kind of makes sense. It's a British car. This is really cool. Next up, we have the Camaro, 69 Copo Camaro in yellow. Classic muscle car. And it's always nice to add Camaros to the collection. Large back tires on this thing. Muscular, great paint job, great color choice. Yellow on black. Just doesn't get any better than that. Really good stuff. We've got the big highlights next. Uh, we've got the Automobile Pininfarina Batista in blue. We've already seen this once in silver maybe. This blue is stunning. Check that out. Hopefully, hopefully, Hot Wheels will make the uh, Gordon Murray car. That would be epic. Blade wheels on this thing, this is awesome. We got the McLaren Elva, new for 2022. This is a recolor. This one's now in blue. I'm now blanking on what color this one was as well. We have a lot of blue cars in this mix, but it's fantastic bunch so don't miss them especially if you like them don't miss them we've got the lotus emira in blue i promise this is the last blue car i'm opening in the next three you can see probably not the best real choice on this one but it works great lotus logo yeah great tampa work this is an awesome awesome car Let's go with the Porsche. This one's in a kind of satin black, the Porsche GT, or 911 GT3. Oh, I guess it's kind of a gloss, or maybe it's gloss on the hood. Oh, okay, it's gloss on the roof, kind of satin everywhere else. We've seen this in blue, now we've got it in black. I was really surprised to find this. Is that again at a Target, and it was in one of those dump bins, those side shipper dump bins, or end cap dump bins. At the bottom. Always dig the bottom. 911 GT3. Yeah, that's epic. We're gonna go with the 81 Camaro. I believe this might be the Super Treasure Hunt if you find it with real riders. I can't remember. A few case. No, maybe it's not. I don't remember. This thing is awesome though. Big back tires on this thing. Kind of a super stock or street stock. This is definitely a weekend track toy in a straight line. Although if you put big back or big front tires on it, you could probably have a autocross car, which would be sweet. This thing is stunning. Last up is by far one of the coolest, Matt and Debbie's, Matt and Debbie Hayes 1988 Pro Street Thunderbird. Yes, Pro Street cars all the way. I grew up playing with the Hot Wheels, like the Super Pro Stock S10, the orange one, and a bunch of other Pro Street looking vehicles. And I had a, a dresser that was long and it used to be in my head like a quarter mile and I would drag race the cars. This would have been 
a clear, clear winner to me. It would have won many races. This thing is just so cool. This is basically my childhood. I had posters of cars like this. Just so many cars like this. Check that out. Great 90s Tampa work. Yup. A plus. I can't wait to see what more they do with this thing. Although if it was a one and done, I wouldn't be mad because it's just amazing. But there you have it. There are the 2022 Hot Wheels Q case cars that I was able to find on the pegs. Let me know which ones are your favorites in the comments below. And until the next one, have a good one.